Hi everyone, Stephen Kulagi back here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today's message is about haters. We all have haters in our lives, no matter what we do, in our family, in business, in health, in whatever situation you're in, we will always have a hater. And this is my tip on how to deal with haters and what to do with haters. Hopefully you will enjoy this little message I put out there. If you do like it, please comment below, subscribe, and uh, and I love to hear your comments. Also, um, I'll be having some few interviews with uh, Honorable Brian Kramer, and upcoming interviews, a new police minister, and a couple of other ministries, hopefully uh, Ellen Bird and Gary Jufa, a couple of up, up and coming politicians, and some uh, other business people in Papua New Guinea. But starting my um, topic on haters. Now we all have haters, no matter what you do in life, uh, you want to start a business in your own family, your own family members will laugh at you and ridicule you and it hurts. Um, but don't take it to heart. Know that these are the birth pains. It's like you're going to have a baby. You know that it's going to hurt. And those are the kind of things, if you, before, you, before you're successful in business and whatever you do in life, there's going to be pains. Um, going to the gym. You gotta feel pain. You gotta hurt. People are gonna probably make fun of you. Who cares? At the end of the day, uh, you need to block that kind of crap out of your life. You need to focus on your end game. If you wanna be a millionaire, you gotta do whatever it takes. So if you sell or selling boy, uh, you know, if you embarrass yourself, do sales hustle, be a coffee, or be a waiter, you know, sell coffee. Whatever you need to do to become uh, the best version of of yourself even if it's to the business or health even if you like I ask a couple of people um, in PNG especially to uh, go for afternoon walks some of them are embarrassed to be seen walking on the street um, as I said in PNG especially Sam's are killing money we're too embarrassed to go out of our comfort zone we're too embarrassed to be hurt we're too embarrassed to be leaving ourselves vulnerable for criticism. That's why many people stay in the comfort zone and never push up. People who don't really give a shit what people think, they're the ones who succeed. People who don't, who take, uh, who don't take no for an answer, they keep on going. And that's the kind of mindset you need to have uh, when it comes to haters especially. There'll be haters wherever you do. Whatever you do in life, there'll be haters. And uh, don't take it to uh, heart. When, when someone's hating on you, you have to be like, oh, this is great, I'm, I must be doing something right because these are the pains that I need to get before I uh, end up somewhere. So, you know, pains, I mean, we have people laugh at me, people uh, maybe make comments behind my back. You know, I don't really care. They don't feed me. They don't know how much money I have in my account. They don't know how, much, how I'm feeling. Uh, they don't know my health situation. So who really gives a crap what haters think? If you're really concerned what other people think, you will never grow in business, you'll never grow in your health, you'll never grow in anything you do. Accept all the criticism that's coming your way, take it as good. Any criticism that comes your way or mockery that comes your way, take it in, use it as energy, use it as fuel. Never take anything to heart because it creates stress and it creates heart attacks and it's very really bad for your health. So, how I look at it is when people criticize me or people you know, say bad things about me, laugh at me, I really don't give a crap. I take it in. I think some of the bad messages they give you is actually good for you to improve. And some of it is just jealousy. They're all sitting in their ass doing nothing and they just want to comment, hey, my name is Biklo Mangina, how name is Salim Or, you know, uh, he's fat, he's lifting weights and it's, he's not, it's not uh, going anywhere. Or he thinks he's a business person, but doesn't know anything about business. You know, those kind of comments that come in your way. You know, who cares? Do what you do. Do, do it to the best of abilities. And focus on the light behind there at the end of the tunnel. Don't focus what everyone else is saying. Because if you're too concerned what people are saying, you'll never get anywhere. Hopefully this message sinks in. And I know many of you are probably thinking, oh yeah. I've got one or two family members who are negative towards me. I've got a couple of friends who are negative towards me. I've got a couple of uh, co-workers, you know, people on my street, people in my workplace. 
very negative. There's negative people everywhere, but use them as stepping stones to your life. Do not use them as stumbling blocks, if that makes any sense. Hopefully this message uh, sinks in. We all have haters everywhere. You just have to learn how to deal with it. I just step on them. They're just another, you know, as I said, every level you reach up, there's always another devil. So crush all those devils in your life. Stephen Kalagi, I hope you loved this message. If you did, please subscribe, uh, press subscribe here, like, and comment below because I really appreciate your comments and all the new subscribers that have jumped on board. I really appreciate it. Thumbs up. Have a powerful week. Thank <laughs> you.